in our words communication class, we had to come up with our own idea to participate in. And my topic was, um, how would you feel after getting a call that I was in a car wreck and didn't make it? You really never know how someone feels about you until you're gone. So for me to figure out how they felt about me, I asked them that question and hear some of their thoughts. Well, first I would cry for probably a long time. And then I would be sad for quite a while because I wouldn't be able to believe that I would not be seeing your smiling face at school every morning or receiving your hug every day. close over the past year and I think of you as like a really close friend now so I'd probably be really upset I'd probably be devastated if I wasn't coming to school and seeing you every day it'd be really heartbreaking um, obviously that would be very devastating for anyone at Pokemon High School to hear about Piaja but um, Personally, I feel like her and I have started to, you know, develop a great relationship, whether it be through basketball or just walking around in the hallways, and um, to not hear her cracking up at some stupid joke or um, yelling about something, it would, it would be something that would um, be missing from my day. After getting a call that you were in a car accident and didn't make it, I would be very upset, but I would try to stay strong for others around me, myself, and your family. I would be very emotional to find out if Piaggio was in a car wreck. Um, I built a relationship with her through coaching her through volleyball, and I look at her like one of my very own children. So I have an attachment to her um, emotionally, and um, she's just very important to me, and I would be deeply saddened if something like that ever happened to her. That, I don't know, it's just, that would be, that would be really, it would be tough. Because, you know, you came here and I didn't know you. And I don't remember how we met, but somehow we still have, like, we have a connection. Like, we're friends and, you know, we're cousins too. So, um, but I don't know. I'd feel like I'd have a lost friend. And, and I, I don't know. I just wouldn't. I would, of course, I'd be, I'd feel terrible. I would be devastated. I would be deep into my feelings at that point. Uh, I've watched Piaggio grow a lot in the two years that I have seen her. That would make me tear up. I have not lost a student in a long time. I've gone through that experience. It is not a fun experience. And uh, just thinking about it is making me a little uh, misty right now. But I, I, would feel, I would feel devastated. I would feel very sad for her family. I would be devastated. I think my first reaction would be to be in shock and then I would be sad to lose such a big figure in our school community as far as like a school leader who influences other people. I would feel the same way. I would think about the impact of all the students not only in our school but in the middle and elementary school as you have been a primary role in reaching out to them. It would be it would be devastating, I think, for the community in general because you are a leader not only for our school but our community, not only right now but in the future. And from a bigger picture, I guess, even though it's hard for us to understand while we're like here, I think like I would also be glad that you had a strong faith and I knew that like you were in a better place. That would like I think be the only comfort that it would bring me. So you're telling me I get to school and they let us know that you've passed in a car wreck. How would I feel? Um, for coaching it for the last couple of years, I'd probably feel different than some of the teachers because I've had you in class, had you on the, on the court. Um, obviously, I'd be really sad, but what really get me is the missed potential because, you know, obviously, you being young, 
you know, efforts there, efforts not there, back and forth, but those moments I saw you shining and working really hard, and then that would be gone. Uh, I would really, I'd really be sad, and I think uh, anybody that knows you or anybody that would, would have got to know you in the future would miss those things about you, and um, the potential would be lost, and that would be really sad for just not me and you and your family, but for anybody that would meet you. Don't wait until it's too late to tell someone how you really feel, because you never know when their time is coming.